Good day fellow investors, I want to finish my holiday series of videos with something that is so important but so often overlooked. We all focused on what to buy, when to buy, what's the dividend and all those numerical facts. But the most important thing for me when investing is having clear financial goals. So what is your investment goal? And having clear financial goals is essential because our mind is wired in a way that it will look and it will find what we focus on. If I ask you how many red cars have you seen today, you will say none. But tomorrow when you go to work or something, you will see, oh, look a red car, look a red car, look another red car. You will see, so, you will see many, many red cars. And that's because your mind is focused on that. So if you have a clear financial goal, which could be, okay, I need a million, I need two million, I need a flat here, I need this, I need that, I want an opportunity to multiply my, I want an opportunity to grow my money at 12% a year, in addition to constant yearly earnings growth, you will look for those opportunities and you will find them eventually. Perhaps not today, but over a time span of a few years, you will find few great investment opportunities that will lead you to your goals. And that's the key when investing. First have clear financial goals and then you will find the opportunities because that's how our mind works. So write down your goals if you haven't yet and then say to yourself, okay, and then say to yourself, okay, how am I going to get there? And then your mind will find the ways to get there. And the most important thing is that your mind will find ways to get there that are no risk. Because with the most important financial goals, you cannot tolerate risk. You have to get there. And you will find ways to certainly get there. My financial goals are very simple. First, my goal was, okay, to have enough money so that I can safely quit my jobs and start working developing my business. The same for my wife. So we are now jobless, happily jobless, but we have enough money that we can sustain our life for a few years, even more, so that we can freely develop our business as we want. So thanks to stocks and thanks, thanks to the good returns in the past, we have achieved this now. The next financial goal, the more short-term goal, is we would love to have a great dream house because we work from home, so we would like to have a nice house, a nice office. We are, let's say, Italian-style family. We like to have family gatherings. My wife wants to have a great kitchen so that she can make these feasts for everybody. So the next step is, okay, we want a nice big villa with a view in nature, but close to a city. And then our mind started working. Okay, where can we find the same lifestyle, a good quality life that we have now, but in such a place and not in a small, let's say, Dutch normal house. So we decided, okay, we are going to look for move, to move and finding better lifestyle opportunities, better nature. I love gardening. I love to produce my own food. So that's the next shorter term goal. Simply moving from the Netherlands to another country where the lifestyle, the quality of life, the service, the system is similar, but here everything is three times cheaper, will allow us to do that. Plus, we are closer to home, closer to family and everything like that. But now that I don't have a job, I can do that. Having a goal will find opportunities. Having the goal of such a house is what brought me to look for such opportunities where we have found, okay, we have everything the same as we have in the Netherlands, but at a much, much lower price, plus much better nature, much better culture for, for us as we are not Dutch. The long-term financial goals are pretty clear. I have my million dollar portfolio that I want to get to a million in about 20 years. This will give me opportunities for the longer term and to see where that will grow. In addition, there are some other goals, but I'll leave you to think about your goals. What are your goals? Cl clearly set them down and then patiently wait for investing opportunities that will lead you to there. Thank you for watching. From now on, there will be much more in-depth research answering your comments on YouTube. So looking forward to see you in the next video and I wish you a great day.